Hey guys, so for this section, I'm just gonna do a quick chat bot flow to show you how the actions work. So we're gonna do a create contact and we're gonna get that in our HubSpot CRM. I actually think I already have one in here, so I'm just gonna delete it quickly. All right, so that's gone. And now we'll do a create contact. So this is the properties JSON that's gonna run. The only thing we're gonna change here is just the email, just to keep it nice and quick. So I'll enter my email. It'll return here with a success true. I'll refresh my HubSpot and as you can see, it'll pop up right there. The next thing we're going to do is a get contact. So the get contact card actually runs a search to get the, the latest contact that we just added. So I'm going to enter my email. It's going to search for this email and return my information. So John Doe with my email. And we use an execute code card here. Don't worry, in the next section, I'm gonna go through exactly uh, what goes into these action cards. From here, we're gonna do an update contact. So as if you remember, the name on the last contact was John Doe. So I'm gonna put in my actual name here and we're gonna see this refresh, okay? So I press enter and it's using my user ID from the get contact. So if we go to HubSpot, do a refresh, you can see that now it's my actual name. We'll go back here and we're going to do a search. So this search one actually just runs uh, on first name Brian. So it'll just get this contact's information right here. So we'll just run a search and we'll get the JSON string back. And as you can see, Brian Halligan, um, hotspot.com, right? And the only things that we returned here are create date, first name and last name. All right, so for the last one, we're gonna just delete this contact because we don't need it in our HubSpot CRM. So I'll do another refresh here to show you that it's still there. And it's still using the user ID we got from the get contact. So we'll do a delete contact. It will return a success message. The delete API um, call doesn't actually return anything. So this is our own custom um, success message that we sent back. If we go back to the contacts, do a refresh, you'll notice that the contact is gone. All right, so in the next section, we're actually gonna go through these contact cards in a bit more detail. Um, it might look a little confusing with all the JSON here, but I promise uh, the gamma document that we have and the explanation in the next section will go through everything. Thanks for watching. All right, so for this section, I'm gonna run you through the actions that we have for the contact actions. I'll show you how they look and how the JSONs look for each one. So the first one that we have is a get contact. So for the get contact, all you have to pass in is the user ID. Once you pass in the user ID, you just get a JSON string back. You can parse it and then do whatever you want with that information. Next up, we have the create a contact. So when you create your new contact, you have to include one of the following. So you need either a first name, a last name, or an email. Now it's highly recommended to use email, that way you can uh, separate people and know which one you're getting back. So this is how it'll look in BotPress and you can use these braces and the BotPress variable to change the properties and again, alter them dynamically through the chatbot. That's why this is so powerful is that you can change it on the fly. Then you have the delete contact again, super simple. You just pass in the user ID and it will just wipe it from the HubSpot CRM. Then you have the update contact. Now for this one, you have to have a user ID so that HubSpot knows which contact you're updating. You can either perform a partial update or a full update. So you don't actually have to list all of the properties in your HubSpot CRM. You can only list a, you can list a few if you want, or you can list all of them, but the ones that you do list in here will be changed. So be careful with that when you're doing it dynamically so you don't alter something and then make a mess of the HubSpot CRM. Uh, if you look on the right here, we actually have the braces and then a bot press variable. So we can change this dynamically on the fly as well. And finally, you have the search contacts. So this one you'll be using quite a bit so that you can get the contact IDs of the users. And again, it's just a filter and your filter groups, set those up however you want. So for this one, for example, we have email is equal to the example hotspot.com so it'll return everyone that has this email or just one person who has that email on the left here we dynamically set that we ask the user for their email and then find them in the hotspot crm uh, another note is the property section here so these are the only properties that will be returned in the json if you want more make sure to add more 
if you only want one just just leave it as one right but don't grab anything you don't need so you don't change it accidentally and then to extract the contact ids from the searches you're gonna need to do a little bit of a code part in the execute code so you get your search contact response and this will be just a json string you'll parse that and then you're going to go through that json and find the id and then that will give you the user's id on the fly from the chatbot so that you can perform any action that you want on it and yeah that's all for the actions remember they're all the same so there's not much to them thanks if you made it this far into the video i just want to say that i'm proud of you thank you for watching please leave us a like, please subscribe to us. We really appreciate it and we love all the feedback that we get. If you guys want this chatbot specifically, let us know and we will send you a link to the template. As for the master document, this document we're also gonna link in the description below and it has absolutely everything that you need to use this integration. It tells you what HubSpot is, what are the use cases, where to find property IDs, filters, groups, operators, absolutely everything. So if you have any questions, please refer to the master document first. And if you have, if you still can't find the answer, please shoot us a message and we'll try and help you out. Uh, the master document also has all the actions in here as well. Uh, if you guys wanna see the code that we used, also will be linked in the description below. Uh, we appreciate any feedback. So again, guys, please like, subscribe, and we will see you soon. Thanks.